Adam Shell von Bill in the Service of the Emperors is a two-part documentary co-produced by Guangxi Program Service in Taipei and Jiangsu Broadcasting Corporation in Nanjing. The docudrama tells the story of the 17th century German Jesuit missionary, Father Adam Schell von Bill. Adam Schell was a brilliant scientist and astronomer. His talents and ingenuity made him a valuable asset in the late Ming and early Qing empires, where he became a friend and advisor of three emperors. Having survived the fall of the Ming Dynasty, Shao soon found himself serving the first emperor of the new Qing Dynasty, the six-year-old Shunzhi Emperor. Shao was allowed inside the imperial palace because the emperor's uncle had learned that Shao had completed work on a new and accurate calendar begun by Matteo Ricci during the former Ming Dynasty. For Chinese emperors, nothing was more important than an accurate calendar. If the emperor was able to correctly calculate time and predict celestial phenomena, it gave his dynasty great credibility, proving that it possessed the mandate of heaven. Shao became friends with the young emperor as well as his teacher and mentor. Shunzhi called Shao Mafa or Grandpa, and on more than one occasion, Shao was able to help the emperor and even change the course of historical events in China. When the prince regent conspired to consolidate his power over the empire by moving the young emperor and his mother outside the forbidden city, Shao suggested that recent signs and movements in the heavens indicated that it may not be a good time for changing residences. This alarmed the superstitious prince, and he abandoned his plan to the relief of the entire imperial court. From that time on, the empress mother and her son both regarded Shao as a holy man and someone who understood not just the stars, but human affairs as well. Shao became an intimate member of the imperial family. When Shunzhi was older, he once took up with a concubine and abandoned his imperial responsibilities. The Empress Mother went to Shao and begged him to talk to her son. Shao convinced Shunzhi to return to the palace and resume his responsibilities. Never in Chinese history has a foreigner had this kind of influence over a Chinese emperor. It was simply unheard of. Shao had become a master bridge builder, proving that it was possible to bridge geographic, linguistic, cultural, religious, and social barriers in China. Finally, when the young emperor contracted smallpox and was on his deathbed, he asked Shao's advice on whom he should name as his successor. Generally, this would be the eldest remaining brother or son, but Shao suggested another one who had already survived smallpox. Knowing that he would be immune to the plague, he would be more likely to have a long reign. Shunzhi followed his advice and picked the one who became the Kangxi Emperor, the longest reigning and most highly respected emperor in Chinese history. It was Kangxi who eventually issued the edict permitting legal status to the Catholic Church in China. Shao never converted any of the emperors to Catholicism, but by his creative bridge building, he helped establish the Catholic Church in China and change the course of Chinese history. Thank you.